it's Friday almost everywhere in the world except places like Australia <laughs> you're probably in another day already welcome to mind your character with Bosse de Olushola Obasa I hope you've had a beautiful week I hope your day this Friday has been fulfilling I hope that family is well and I trust that you are keeping up well with um, the global economy, the Nigerian economy, governance and everything. One thing I can assure you of is the fact that ego better, take it from me, ego better. So today I have a very very interesting show. You know on Mind Your Character, we look for more and more and more creative ways to teach values, to teach character. So I do welcome every single person who is joining already. I'm live currently on Bossa De Rishala Obasa on mind your character facebook as well as mind your character instagram so i want to welcome every one of you warmly it's a it's a very interesting show today we're going back to the basics remember that mind your character with boss Obasa is a personal effectiveness and public enlightenment program and we are going to be having a good time together I welcome my revered big mommy, Mrs. Bemi Olaleye, Dr. Reverend Mrs. Bemi Olaleye. Thank you so much for joining, Ma. So um, today we are talking back to the basics. We have been picking different versions of the things we'll be discussing at NCPS and today because values are the basics that we're going back to today we decided let's even find out how you can teach values to your children but the way i'm going about it today is how to do values transfer simple or easy ways to do value transfers to the next generation or to youngsters and there are so many we did a what they call it now a carousel on it sometime either this week or last week and today i'm picking just one and i'm going deep like i welcome madam franca thank you franca for joining on thank you so much if you know anybody who loves values who loves character development please tell them that i'm live like it to be so nice to have them join live online real time i know that a lot of people will catch up with this later but i'm saying that just say hi to anyone who you know as enjoy this show on radio i would not really mind to make it their company um yeah partner <laughs> as they are going home so you're either going home on your way home from work now or you're still at work like me or you are home already congratulations or you didn't go to work today or today is your off day there are so many or 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 that are possible whatever it is i welcome you to the show and i ask you to keep your seat belt fastened it's going to be dusky so i hope you're enjoying my This is what they call Siriri Werere <laughs> in Pigeon Palace. So let's go on to what I have today. I'm looking at easy ways to teach your youngsters values. And in teaching, today I mean transferring. So let's say you have those values. They could be cultural values, they could be traditional values, they could be spiritual values religious values national values personal values family values there are so many corporate values whatever categories they belong to the process of transferring to a young person one of it is through language and when i say language 
today I especially want to look at Proverbs. So before I came to the show today, I was going through some Yoruba Proverbs and trying to remember what they are teaching or what they are trying to teach. So today I might do a little of English Proverbs I will intermeddle with some Yoruba proverbs and I will tell you what they are teaching, like the values that they are teaching. And some of the ones I went through earlier, I'll be sharing. So what is the reason why this is important? If you run a home where you are banned native language speaking, it's not too healthy. In the name of, I want them to speak good English, no vernacular, no vernacular, no vernacular. And then for you, vernacular includes, you can't speak, for instance, if you are from Southwest, you say you can't even speak Yoruba. Talk less of speaking your actual dialect. You know how i like that. Eh? No. i tell you a short story about me. I've always wanted a situation where I could um, communicate with my children in another language other than English. So before they started arriving, I made up my mind. I wanted them to be able to speak Yoruba language. I have a native dialect. I'm an Okun girl. My dad is Okun. My mom is Okun. That's the language. Okay, so my dad is from Ijumu, local government. My mom is from... Uh, Yagba West local government, both in the Okun speaking areas of Kogi State, talking about Kaba, you know, most people call people from their Kaba. As I knew that I had grown up with my parents speaking the Okun language to us a whole lot, the dialect. My mom does it, my dad does it even more. I knew the interest i took in being able to speak our dialect with my mom being able to speak my our dialect no when i say speak now let me not come and front you i'm not very if you hear my own eh, you will know that this is yoruba version of the okun dialect but i can understand it absolutely but when i get to speak mine you will say ah this is lagos okun dialect so, but the privilege I had to be able to listen to my mom talk or my dad talk in other languages other than English was a big thing for me growing up. So before I got married, I told myself that when I start having my children, I will encourage them, I will work towards ensuring they can at least speak Yoruba language. And today, my first daughter, no matter how Queen's English she speaks, she can speak Yoruba to jati jati. Like, she will even do proverbs. Okay, so um, the one that followed, the young man, that one is acting like he uh, doesn't want to bow. <laughs> he doesn't want to enter, but he, sees, he, he can understand everything. When it's time to speak, you might hear him sounding like he's not even Southwesterner at all. But I'm glad that he can understand. Same goes for the, the, the second, um, the third child can also speak fluently. I think it's about how adaptable they are to... Um, auditory learning then when it comes to the last child that one is still picking up but what am i saying there are values that our dialect communicates if you have banned your dialect in your family because you want your children to speak good english i don't think it's a very good thing because see i imagine that there are some wisdom that your native dialect should teach your children that if you do not allow them to listen to it, talk less about speaking it, how will they pick it? So let's take Yoruba language for instance. I welcome everyone who is joining me. Welcome, Madam Ben Wanko. No, no. Welcome, Madam Ekanem. These are all my personal people. Thank you so much for joining. This show will not be anything without anyone joining from that end. So I'm going to begin today with some proverbs and the values that they teach so that you can begin to see that not talking not speaking your own dialect is not a plus at all it's not a plus at all why will your child not be able to understand your native dialect and you think it's a plus no i don't think so i'm sorry 
I cannot influence how you run your family, but I think that I'm speaking some sense here. There are some things they should pick from your cultural values, and our culture includes language. So, for instance, before I tell you the, uh, the, the English own, I'm going to tell you some Yoruba proverbs and what they teach. One says, um, let me see the one I put here. The one that teaches patience. The one that teaches patience is the one I want to pick first. Or rather, let me, teach, let me pick the one that teaches dedication first. The one that teaches dedication, which is a good value that everyone should have. Capacity to be able to be devoted to what you're doing and all. There is one that I that I know. He said that any bama jenny no akpata koni wenu ake. Any bama jenny no akpata ki wenu ake. What does that mean? Any bama So literally, he's saying that if you want to eat honey from inside the rock, you will not mind the fact that you are going to need a sharp instrument like the axe to break it. That means that you have to defy the odds to get there. That's teaching resilience. That's teaching dedication. That's teaching focus. That's teaching tenacity. So imagine that you have never by yourself sat your child down to say, do you know there's a proverb like you don't even have to see them that there are moments that something happens. So I think it was two days ago. My two daughters went, I was doing school runs, and my elder daughter, my eldest daughter who is still around, she has not gone back to school, was saying something, and she, has, she thought that herself and the other girl were trying to, what do they call this word, though? They were just looking for my trouble, sharp, kind of. <laughs> so I was driving. Then I said that, ah, I just said, Ipako <laughs> Goshuti. Then two of them said, eh, shooty, what shooty? Is it shooting? Is it getting out there? She may have been me now. Me, I have said my own. I didn't say the remaining one because that one is very abusive. The, 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 the ending part of that saying is very abusive. But I just said, that means, look, whatever you are saying, and focus, whatever you are saying does not consign me. So these things are important. I don't have all the time today to begin to talk about all of this. There are so many beautiful proverbs in our different dialects. From the time our children begin to know how to listen to us talk, we should begin to give them those proverbs. You can create excitement around it. It doesn't have to always be a teaching time that they are sitting there you are saying. It could be a taste by moonlight time. It could be a time to even give them a reward for knowing something. You can be very creative about everything. But you see, to allow your children miss out on values that can help them in life. I think there is depth in our native dialects. It's not that I think, I know. There is depth, the kind of depth that the English language might not communicate. So when they hear it, and you take your time to explain, that's if you even know it yourself. <laughs> Okay, if you even know it yourself, which I, I encourage you to, you can't lose your roots. So we'll be talking about values. One of the easy ways to teach a child values are proverbs. Proverbs that you will take your time to explain. There's another one that I would like to say in Yoruba, and it teaches um, patience. We are living in a days now where patience is becoming a byword. If you tell people that you are slow and steady, they'll tell you that you are stupid. But you see, there's still a place of process. Every product must go through a process. So if children want to jump, some of us have been working for almost three decades of our lives. And there are cars we've not been able to drive as a result of the work that we do. But some young people have just left secondary school. They want to drive those cars. They are jumping the gun. They are jumping process. That's why people are dying. I want ah, 27 dead. Can you call dead? You don't know. We don't, we don't know the details. It's good to blow early. But it's good to blow in a sustainable way. If I must use blow in the sense of what street calls blue? So let me see another one. One easy way to teach your child value is 
Yes, through proverbs. Your proverbs in your dialect. Proverbs in your dialect, preferably. Okay, so initially I shared one that any Bama Jaini you know no ake. It creates there are pictures. There's a picture of a rock. There's a there's a picture of an axe in that person, and there's a picture of Oni. Any does either any or any, whichever one, either the sweet palm kernel or the egg, whichever one that means. But something sweet you want to get from the rock, you have to work hard. So you are talking hard work, you are talking not giving up. To that child, those are values they must never leave behind. That said, the next one says that Ari Bele, Nyo Moye Dele, Asare Tete, Koni Boye Kan. It's teaching process, teaching patience. There's one that is like Kito that says something like Asure Tete, Koni Koja Ale. So it means that everybody will arrive at their place at different times. It could be early for you. You could have married at, uh, finished your exam, uh, graduated at 20. Good. Married at 21. Great. How about your children at 22? Wonderful. Built yours at 23. Awesome. It does not mean that another person who will get married at 25 or finish their own academics at 25 will be worse off in life. Those are values. If we believe in the depths of language, if we believe in the depth of cultural values, if we believe that there is depth in our language and our, and, and our, our native language in particular, then we will know that those things paint pictures. The second one I said now that the, it says literally it says that the person that is working slowly will win the crown. Somebody that over speeds where he's supposed to get to will lose the, the the winning. And then the other one says that both the one that is slow and the one that is fast they will get to where they are going. The person that is speedily moving will get to where he's going. But the one that while the one that is also moving slowly will not slip on the road. So what are we saying? There are values inherent in our native proverbs. I am very proud that I am not one of those Nigerians who became colonized all over again by themselves because they don't want to hear anything other than English language in their home. Like, like I speak Yoruba like no man business. In fact, there's another one that I speak and I intentionally do it just so they have they're talking about multilingual, multilingual. Must it always be in a foreign language? So, whatever I know that is little, and my grannies are doing well too, they still speak the bit they can with my children. So what am I saying? It leaves them in a better stead. They can have the wisdom of the old people added to their own regular wisdom, and they would always be better off in life. I truly hope that I've been able to share something that is meaningful for everyone who has either joined or will be catching up with this. You need to brush up your values template. There's one of such easy ways to teach the youngsters of today values. It comes from our native dialects. Don't throw it away. It's okay if, like me, you can't speak the deep one of your real, actual dialect. But you see, there's a communal thing, language, that Southwesterners speak, Yoruba. There's another one that Northerners speak, that's Hausa. There's another one that people from the uh, Southeast speak, that's the general Igbo. And many of them like that. So why won't you just at least towards one. Whatever you do in life, don't restrict what you teach your children to the minimum because you never know what else they might need when you are not there. I encourage you to get back, dust off your values template and start. They might say, ah, mommy, where did you start? But tell them that there is, there is sense in learning that. They learn it in school, yes, but that's never enough if you don't speak anything 
about it at home. Proverbs are beautiful and today Google has made it so easy. Go online and say Proverbs in Yoruba and they are minutes. You'll be surprised what you will see. It's a deluge. So that's the show for today. If you do not have my book yet and you'd like to get a copy, it's talking about leadership reputation and sustainability of it imperatives of sustainable leadership reputation and an extra of tips on managing reputation damage just call 0817-057-9767 and we will ship to wheresoever you want you can get a discount price for multiple purchases when you call you'll find out what the bargain looks like thank you and don't forget the National Character Printing Summit, which is why I'm running these shows on values, comes up on September 30th, the last Saturday. So today is 15th. Fifth, like 15 days away. 15 days away from the National Character Parenting Summit. It's going to be awesome. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Mrs. Yeboa, thank you for joining all the way from Ghana. Thank you for joining on Instagram. I'm so excited to hear from you. So, don't hide your, be proud of your native language. Be proud of it. Be proud of it. And then there's small wisdom inside it that you can add to what your children already have. Please don't deny them of anything that can put them ahead of others. They travel abroad and they are still able to communicate with you in your dialect where other whites are. And they want to say something to you without needing everybody to hear. And you are here in Nigeria. They should be able to say it at least. And then the, the, the depth of values that these proverbs in our language or languages teach is amazing. I'm excited about them. And I do not want you as a 21st century parent to lose out on it. 30th of September, I am using this to invite everybody. Guess what I've been saying to people since this week? Attend NCPS as a family, come as a family, so that you can settle a lot of issues in the room. And you see so many, uh, how do you call them now? Career parents saying how they've been able to navigate. Those of them that have gone ahead and done well, we try to ensure that we bring the right people to our panel. And this year, we are having an extended panel of even education interve uh, uh, intervention, uh, an intervention desk on education, who will tell us the dimension from schools. I can't wait to have you. It starts at 10 a.m. It's a full day event. There will be vendors to, to, uh, from whom you can get food should you need to, so you have nothing to worry about. Feel free to bring your children, no matter how young they are. We will find a way to ensure that we have a very beautiful room where all of us can be better we are going back to the basics and it is values conversation with youngsters how do we revisit it one of such is get back to the proverbs so i want you to tell me which proverbs you have shared eh? under this comment when you catch up with this video please tell me what proverbs you are sharing with them and what values you are pulling out of it it's time for me to say my goodbyes because yoruba say Ah, Roger Musoloku. <laughs> ah, Roger Musoloku means that you cannot tie, eh? You can't use rope to tie time down. Time waits for nobody. That's the that's the Yoruba version of time waits for nobody. But people in my office know that I always say that ah, English is shallow when I compare it with Yoruba. It's it's shallow. It's like when I want to worship God in a way that I will feel it in my bones. I do it in Yoruba language. I don't do it in English language. I go down. I go down, down, down to the basics. And there's a way, even me, I can tell that God is feeling me right there. It's feeling me. It's feeling my vibe. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to say my thank yous all over again. Thank you, Franca. Thank you, Nono. Thank you. Uh, Ekanem blessing our mommy Jasper. Yes, thank you for joining. Thank you, everyone who is on Instagram joining. Thank you for everyone. Thank you to everyone who is on uh, Facebook. Mind your character. 
you have questions about how to get to the event center on the 30th please leave a question or uh, your questions here we will attend to it and i will do well again to drop the link as well as every other details that you might require in particular the flyer if you want to make my day my month and my year make sure that you fly those flyers on those your massive platform you know many of you have bigger platforms than, than i have it would be so nice to uh, you know to just accommodate the ncps flyer right there so so much for the time we've been able to stay together thank you thank you zero comments yes thank you thank you so much we need to go now thank you to everyone who is um back end thank you Dorcas. thank you debbie thank you david team is amazing i have three d's in my team <laughs> i don't know how that came to be but it's like that david team Dorcas, and debbie and of course the interns who are unavoidably upset today on the show thank you everybody it's our good vibes i was saying and i'm going to allow this music to play in a way that you can vibe to it in case you are still going home hey. this is how to start the weekend on an serious wherever notes Make sure you go to church on Sunday. Oh. Don't forget that to uh, use Sunday as rest day. Or oh, just see me. Oh, that doesn't mean that you should stay at home. <laughs> or oh, just see me doesn't mean stay at home. It means it's the day that God will grant you rest. Go and be serviced in church. So that you can go to work on Monday. Charge. Nothing can stop you. Bye, guys. God bless you.